What's he doing? Is he waving? Yeah, he's saying, let's visit Israel. The PJ Library turns snuggly bedtime moments. I went tractor! We'll use a tractor on a kibbutz. Into Jewish moments. Small hands plant. Every month, Jewish children from six months to eight years old receive a free, age-appropriate book or CD in the mail, at home, addressed to the child. Is that a new book? Yeah. <gasps> okay, let's let's read it. <gasps> what is it? Wow. He sees the package and he knows what it is. And you saw him, I didn't have to tell him what to do. He rips right in. We have a really long driveway, so a lot of times I stop and then they always go, did I get mail, did I get mail, did I get mail? The first year, I was like, wow, this is free? <laughs> yes, it's free. A gift from the local Jewish community in partnership with the Harold Grinspoon Foundation, which created the PJ Library. PJ is for pajamas. In just four years, the PJ Library has mailed two million books to children in 130 communities across the U.S. and Canada. More than 59,000 books are shipped every month. The literature that we're getting in our house, it, it's amazing. And I'm learning stuff that I didn't know. The PJ Library goes far beyond the books. PJ opens a portal to the Jewish community through story times at synagogues and JCCs, in homes, and in public spaces, like Macy's department store. He went back to the house to think of what he could bring. A Barnes and Noble. When it's dry and ready, then dreidel I shall play. I don't have some. I knew somebody here would know it. Or an outdoor nature center for Tu Bishvat. Happy birthday to the trees. PJ Library means everything, because for most people, there is this sort of drifting away from Judaism, uh, somewhere between the age 13 and 18, and usually it's when this happens, when a child's born, that you sort of start to re-engage a little bit. And PJ Library comes right at that moment and says, look, we want to help you. We want to reach out to you and we want to be your partners. A tree is nice because it has leaves. The bottom line is the PJ Library works. It's the best tool available for reaching out to young Jewish families who are unengaged. In fact, 20 to 30% of the families who enroll in the PJ Library were previously unknown to the organized Jewish community. Being included and a part of a community and allowed to be in this group is very important because both my sister and I both are, are we married non-Jews, but we also, our children, know Judaism and Judaism is a huge part of our life and it's a huge part of who we are. There are people that are looking for my help for all kinds of things all the time um, but this would rank amongst the very top. It's great. I mean it's just it's something that really makes me feel good to be a part of. Oh,